hey guys thank you for checking in and welcome to my channel it's been a while that i haven't uploaded any video and i'm getting a lot of requests on my instagram to make some tutorial videos again and yes i'm back so hope you guys are gonna love this one too so without any further ado let's start with the tutorial So here we are in Photoshop. So first thing first, let's uh, drag and drop this image on our work composition. So let's drag and drop this one and let's get a background. So this one, let's move it under, control T make it a little bigger maybe something like this all right now let's make it a little bigger control T now let's grab another picture so drag and drop this one over here control T make it bigger something like this let's move it all the way to the bottom Control T, maybe something like this size. And let's grab a sky. Yeah, let's drag and drop this one. And let's put it all the way to the bottom. Now let's minimize all of those images. And let's work on this one. All right, now let's create a layer max and go to brush and let's go for a soft brush and make sure the color is black and let's start painting. Just let's get rid of these hard edges over here. And Go over here, make a little bigger. Let's move it maybe somewhere over here. All right. And let's select on layer three. Create a layer max. Go to press. Let's get some of this part. All right. Now go over here. Create hue and saturation. Click on this icon and let's decrease the saturation all the way to the zero. Let's do the same thing for layer 4 too. Go over here, create hue and saturation. Click on this layer and decrease the saturation all the way to the chair minus 100. And let's make it a little bigger. Control T. So maybe put it somewhere over here. All right now let's do go to filter go to camera raw filter and go to color mixer go to saturation and drop down all the saturation to minus 100 except for red i just want to keep the reds over here so go over here and click on okay and let's turn on the visibility for layer one let's do the same thing filter go to camera raw filter all right so i want to get rid of this part so let's create a new layer control oh let's duplicate the layer one control j and click on control u to create to get the hue and saturation and let's decrease the saturation let's create a layer max let's fill the layer max with black and go to brush again b make sure the color is white and let's get back 
those parts so here we go all right now let's do the same thing for this layer select on this layer make a copy Control j Control u for hue and saturation and let's drop down the saturation and go to layer max go to brush and let's get these parts back all right now now let's drag and drop this ball over here Control G let's make it a little smaller I mean put it somewhere over here so let's drag and drop this image over here Control T let's make it a little smaller let's put it somewhere over here and again Control T let's wrap it Let's make a copy or create a layer max, go to brush and make sure the color is black. Let's get rid of these parts. I don't want those or on this part too. All right, now let's make a copy. Control J, Control T. Let's put it somewhere over here. Select the layer 5 and go to burn tool and let's burn the side edges. Let's top down the exposure a little bit. Alright, now let's do some dots. Let's drop down the exposure. Let's add some dots on the side. all right now let's do some adjustment on face so go over here we select on this layer go to dodge tool and let's make some adjustment right now let's do same thing for this layer too select the layer Select this layer, go to dodge tool again. Alright, now let's create a new layer. Go to brush and this time I'll just go for a soft brush. Let's change the color to maybe something like lighter yellow. Change the blending mode to screen. Create a new layer again. Same thing, change it to screen and let's drop down the opacity. Something like this. Let's now let's create a new layer. Go to brush again, same thing, same color. And right click create clipping max and go to eraser E let's oh, sorry let's go to eraser tool or press E and go for soft brush again increase the brush size and let's and get rid of some extra yellow part maybe i change to screen and let's drop down the opacity a little bit and let's do same thing for 
this layer go to new layer go to brush again and right click create clipping max go to eraser tool and let's get rid of those extra parts Let me change it to soft light. Maybe drop down the opacity a little bit. All right, now let's drag and drop this sparkle image over here. Let's make it bigger. Control T, let's rotate it, get bigger, maybe something like this, let's change it to a soft light, maybe I think screen is better or maybe soft light is better, Control T, yeah, I think I like this one better. Or we can change it anytime. Create a new layer, go to brass. Let's make it a little white. And let's change the opacity a little bit. Okay, something like this. Now let's add some text. Control T, let's make it bigger. Maybe keep it somewhere over here. And let's bring it under this layer. Now make a copy, Control J. Let's move it up. And from here, change, add some stroke. Go to stroke and let's add stroke and inside and let's change the stroke size to one all right and from here let's drop down the fill to zero and maybe increase the stroke size a little bit something like this or maybe change the same color Uh, right okay I'd like to change this color to white and let's do the same thing for stroke to let's change the color to white now let's add a glow and text layer so go over here and go to effect and click on outer glow some lighter yellow and maybe increase the size something like this okay now let's make a copy of this layer text layer control J and let's go to rectangle and let's add a rectangle and let's get rid of the stroke Maybe somewhere over here control J control T
here select all rectangles ctrl G to make a group and color overlay let's make it white and add outer glow all right now ctrl T let's maybe make it smaller and let's move it all the way to the bottom maybe somewhere over here make a copy ctrl J ctrl T let's add somewhere over here I think it's ctrl J ctrl T all right now let's do a final color touch-up so for that i'm using my color LUT. so click over here go to color lookup and from here click on load and i'm going to use my mode LUT. select on this LUT and click on load so here we are let's do a color adjustment so go over here click on color balance and let's increase the magenta a little bit create a new layer go to brush and let's add let's change the opacity a little bit let's go to brush and let's make it a little darker let's same thing let's do it over here go to brush let's drop down the opacity all right now let's do a final touch up so press ctrl shift alt and e to merge our layer and make a copy select the layer go to filter go to camera raw filter and let's do some adjustments so from here increase clarity increase texture increase vibrance increase the exposure a little bit increase the highlights too now let's go to detail and increase noise reduction increase the sharpening and Go to effects, increase the vignetting, maybe something like this, add a little bit of grain, one more color balance, and from shadows. To highlights let's magenta a little bit so okay now that's the final and I hope you guys learned something new from this video and see you guys in the next video